I will say it in the broad daylight. I have said it to those who matter in this problem. And that's what is going to happen. You, 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 can, you go home, sleep, you know, don't do anything. Africa has taken all economic matters into its hands and says it does not need anyone's help. But can a common currency help African nations economically? Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso plan to launch a common currency that will free them from reliance on the West. But why the rush? The African nations are weary of depending on the West and now desire to stand independently. But how can a common currency assist in achieving this goal? Let's find out. Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso are making some new economic achievements and they are making decisions that would change everything for them. The first step to new goals is withdrawing from ECOWAS. But why did Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso announce their departure from the ECOWAS Economic Community of West African States bloc? Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso sent shockwaves through the international community when they jointly announced their departure from the Economic Community of West African States ECO was on January 28, 2024. This unexpected move raised numerous questions about the underlying reasons and the potential consequences for regional stability. Let's explore the complexities surrounding this decision and why these nations had to sever ties with ECOWAS. What triggered the departure? The trio's departure from ECOWAS was rooted in their dissatisfaction with the organization's response to their ongoing struggles against terrorism and insecurity. The military administrations in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger pointed to ECOWAS's failure to provide meaningful assistance in combating these pressing issues as the primary catalyst for their decision. This departure highlighted a growing discontent among member states with the efficacy of ECOWAS in addressing critical regional challenges. The departure highlighted a long-standing issue, the perceived inadequacy of ECOWAS in supporting its member states, particularly in times of crisis. In the case of Mali, the military government that assumed power in 2020 expressed frustration with ECOWAS's inability to contribute substantially to their fight against terrorist groups operating within their borders. Burkina Faso, which experienced a change in leadership in 2022, similarly found ECO was lacking in providing tangible assistance against the rising tide of insecurity. The situation worsened in Niger after the military took control in 2023, with the government expressing dissatisfaction with ECOWAS's inability to address the pressing security concerns in the region effectively. The departure shed light on a critical gap in ECOWAS's ability to act decisively in times of crisis leaving member states to fend for themselves when faced with existential threats. The strained relations between the military administrations of Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger, and ECOWAS played a key role in the decision to part ways. Since the military assumed power in these nations, tensions with ECOWAS have been escalating. The international community had watched with concern as these countries moved away from democratic governance raising questions about their commitment to the principles upheld by ECOWAS. The strained relations were particularly evident in Mali, where the military's takeover in 2020 had strained ties with ECOWAS. The subsequent administrations in Burkina Faso and Niger, emerging from military interventions in 2022 and 2023, respectively, further strained the already tenuous relationship with the regional bloc. The departure of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso from ECOWAS raised legitimate concerns about the potential consequences for regional stability. ECOWAS, designed to foster economic integration and political cooperation among West African nations, now faces a significant setback with the departure of three key members. The move could potentially undermine the effectiveness of ECOWAS in addressing broader regional challenges, including economic development, peacekeeping efforts, and cross-border collaboration. The absence of these nations may create a power vacuum, challenging the organization's ability to act as a cohesive regional force. Additionally, the departure could have diplomatic and economic repercussions, 
with the three nations now navigating a new path outside the established regional framework. This shift may reshape alliances and partnerships, further complicating efforts to foster stability and cooperation in West Africa. The departure from ECOWAS begs the question of what alternatives Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso envision for their regional engagement. Standing outside the established regional bloc, the three nations may seek new alliances or partnerships to address their security and economic concerns. This move might lead to the formation of alternative regional collaborations or alliances that better align with the priorities and aspirations of the departing nations. And the nations have some plans. One important alliance in this is the Sahel. What is the Alliance of Sahel States and why was it formed? What is the Alliance of Sahel States and why was it formed? Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity. Let's continue now. The Alliance of Sahel States, established in September 2023, emerged as a strategic response to the strained relations with the economic community of West African states ECOWAS. However, its purpose extends beyond merely serving as a defense alliance. It aims to achieve collective security and foster self-reliance among its member states. At its core, the alliance seeks to address the common threat posed by terrorism and insurgency in the Sahel region. Member states have come together to pool their resources and military capabilities, recognizing the need for a unified and coordinated effort. This collective approach is designed to enhance the effectiveness of defense measures against the prevalent security challenges in the region. The primary focus of the Alliance of Sahel States is to combat the rising threats of terrorism and insurgency that have plowed the Sahel region. Member states aim to create a more robust and coordinated response to these security challenges by pooling resources, intelligence, and military capabilities. This collaborative effort allows for a more comprehensive and strategic approach to counteracting the activities of extremist groups operating in the region. Beyond its immediate objective of addressing security threats, the Alliance of Sahel States is crucial in promoting regional stability and peace. By fostering cooperation among member states, the Alliance contributes to developing a more secure and stable Sahel region. The shared commitment to addressing common challenges creates a foundation for diplomatic and peaceful resolutions to conflicts that may arise within the Alliance or its neighboring regions. The Alliance of Sahel States distinguishes itself by its specific focus on the Sahel region and its commitment to addressing the shared threat of terrorism and insurgency. While other regional alliances may have broader objectives or different areas of concern, the Sahel States Alliance focuses on its member country's unique challenges. This targeted approach allows for a more tailored and effective response to the pressing issues in the Sahel region. What measures has the Alliance taken to enhance military cooperation among its member states? Military cooperation is a cornerstone of the Alliance of Sahel States, and member countries have undertaken various measures to strengthen this aspect of their collaboration. Joint military exercises, intelligence sharing, and the development of a coordinated strategy are among the initiatives aimed at enhancing the military capabilities of the Alliance. By fostering interoperability and synergy among their armed forces, member states strive to create a formidable defense against the common threats they face. In addition to its security-focused objectives, the Alliance of Sahel States recognizes the importance of economic development and self-reliance. Member states are encouraged to collaborate on economic initiatives that promote sustainability and independence. By leveraging their collective resources, the Alliance aims to create a more resilient economic foundation for its member countries, reducing dependency on external sources and fostering self-sufficiency. What are the ambitions of the Alliance of Sahel States beyond security? While the Alliance of Sahel States primarily focuses on security concerns, member states have ambitions beyond this narrow scope. As a critical aspect of statecraft, governance is significant for the Alliance. Member states aim to foster collaboration in governance by sharing best practices, promoting democratic values, and working towards establishing a regional framework that ensures political stability and accountability. Economic development stands as a key pillar of the Alliance's ambitions, 
member states recognize the interconnected nature of security and economic prosperity. Consequently, initiatives aimed at promoting economic development are underway, encompassing collaborative projects, trade agreements, and the sharing of expertise. By leveraging their collective resources, the Alliance strives to create a conducive environment for economic growth, job creation, and sustainable development across the Sahel region. Recognizing the importance of infrastructure in fostering economic growth and connectivity, the Alliance of Sahel States is actively addressing infrastructure challenges. Member states are working to develop and implement infrastructure projects that enhance regional connectivity, facilitate trade, and improve their citizens' overall quality of life. Improve their citizens' overall quality of life. Infrastructure development catalyzes broader ambitions, contributing to the Alliance's economic development goals, stability, and self-reliance. Cultural and social collaboration is integral to the ambitions of the Alliance of Sahel States. Member states recognize the importance of building strong cultural ties and fostering social cohesion to create a foundation for sustained collaboration. The Alliance seeks to deepen understanding and strengthen the bonds among its diverse member states through cultural exchange programs, educational partnerships, and people-to-people -people connections. This cultural and social collaboration is viewed as essential for achieving the broader objectives of the Alliance, fostering unity and resilience in the face of common challenges. What is the focus of economic integration within the Alliance of Sahel States? Economic integration is a focal point within the Alliance of Sahel States, reflecting the member states' commitment to fostering deeper economic cooperation. Recognizing the interconnectedness of economic prosperity with overall stability and self-reliance, the Alliance has embarked on discussions and initiatives to achieve greater integration among its member states. One of the notable discussions within the Alliance of Sahel States revolves around the possibility of creating a common currency. The member states are exploring the feasibility and implications of introducing a shared monetary unit. This consideration is driven by the belief that a common currency could streamline economic transactions, facilitate trade, and contribute to greater financial stability among the Alliance's member states. Factors such as economic convergence, exchange rate stability, and the potential benefits of a unified monetary policy contribute to the deliberations surrounding the creation of a common currency. While creating a common currency is a significant aspect of economic integration, the Alliance of Sahel States is committed to a broader vision of economic cooperation. Member states are exploring various collaborative initiatives to enhance trade, investment, and economic connectivity. Joint projects, trade agreements, and infrastructure development are among the measures being considered to deepen economic ties and create a more integrated economic landscape within the Sahel region. Economic integration is viewed as a pivotal element in achieving the overarching goals of the Alliance of Sahel States, namely stability and self-reliance. Member states aim to create a more resilient and interconnected economic system by fostering closer economic ties. This, in turn, contributes to stability by reducing economic vulnerabilities and enhancing the collective capacity of the Alliance to withstand external shocks. Additionally, Economic integration aligns with the goal of self-reliance as member states seek to reduce dependency on external economic actors and forge a path towards sustainable economic development. Discussing a common currency within the Alliance of Sahel. States aligns with broader regional and continental initiatives, particularly the African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA. The AFCFTA aims to create a single market for goods and services across Africa, fostering economic integration and enhancing intra-Africa trade. The consideration of a common currency within the Sahel region reflects the Alliance's commitment to aligning its economic strategies with broader continental goals, contributing to the vision of a more integrated and economically vibrant Africa. Respecting the autonomy of individual member states' economic policies is a crucial consideration in the Alliance of Sahel States' pursuit of economic integration. The Alliance acknowledges the diversity in economic structures, priorities, and policies among its member states. Balancing the imperative of economic integration with respecting national autonomy requires careful coordination, open dialogue, and a commitment to finding common ground.
The Alliance aims to develop mechanisms that allow for economic cooperation while preserving the flexibility for member states to tailor their economic policies to their specific needs and circumstances. What steps are being taken to involve private sectors and businesses in the economic integration initiatives of the Alliance of Sahel States? The involvement of the private sector is integral to the economic integration initiatives of the Alliance of Sahel States. Member states recognize that private enterprises drive economic growth, create jobs, and foster innovation. To harness the private sector's potential, the Alliance is taking steps to involve businesses in designing and implementing economic integration initiatives. This includes creating a conducive business environment, promoting public-private partnerships, and soliciting input from businesses to ensure that economic integration strategies align with the needs and aspirations of the private sector. What are the potential benefits of the new common currency for Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso? Economic integration is a focal point within the Alliance of Sahel States, reflecting the member states' commitment to fostering deeper economic cooperation. Recognizing the interconnectedness of economic prosperity with overall stability and self-reliance, the Alliance has embarked on discussions and initiatives to achieve greater integration among its member states. One of the notable discussions within the Alliance of Sahel States revolves around the possibility of creating a common currency. The member states are exploring the feasibility and implications of introducing a shared monetary unit. This consideration is driven by the belief that a common currency could streamline economic transactions, facilitate trade, and contribute to greater financial stability among the Alliance's member states. Factors such as economic convergence, exchange rate stability, and the potential benefits of a unified monetary policy contribute to the deliberations surrounding the creation of a common currency. While creating a common currency is a significant aspect of economic integration, the Alliance of Sahel States is committed to a broader vision of economic cooperation. Member states are exploring various collaborative initiatives to enhance trade, investment, and economic connectivity. Joint projects, trade agreements, and infrastructure development are among the measures being considered to deepen economic ties and create a more integrated economic landscape within the Sahel region. And experts believe this new currency will be a success. But what are the factors experts believe could contribute to the success of the common currency? Experts closely associate the success of the common currency in the Alliance of Sahel States with the region's abundant natural resources. Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, the three countries forming the alliance, boast significant stores of natural wealth. Mali and Burkina Faso in particular are recognized for their substantial gold production, while Niger possesses considerable uranium deposits. Experts contend that these rich natural resources form a robust foundation for backing the common currency, potentially ensuring its stability and strengthen the economic landscape. The substantial gold production in Mali and Burkina Faso is a key factor believed to contribute to the success of the common currency. Gold, a precious metal with intrinsic value, has historically been a reliable asset for backing currencies. Experts posit that the significant gold reserves in these countries could serve as a tangible and valuable backing for the common currency. This, in turn, may enhance the confidence of users and investors in the currency's stability, laying a foundation for its successful adoption and circulation. Niger's substantial uranium deposits play a crucial role in the potential strength and stability of the common currency. Uranium is a valuable resource, particularly in energy production and nuclear technology. Experts argue that substantial uranium deposits provide a solid economic basis for the common currency. Utilizing such resources can bolster the currency's value, making it more resilient to economic fluctuations. This, in turn, could contribute to the success of the common currency within the Alliance of Sahel States. Experts emphasize that the backing of the common currency by abundant natural resources contributes significantly to its potential stability and strength. The tangible value of resources such as gold and uranium provides a solid foundation for the currency's intrinsic value. This backing is crucial in instilling confidence among users, investors, and international markets. The perceived stability and strength derived from the backing of natural resources enhance the attractiveness of the common currency, potentially paving the way for its successful adoption and sustained circulation.
What other economic factors are experts considering as potential contributors to the success of the common currency? Beyond the abundant natural resources, experts are considering various economic factors that could contribute to the success of the common currency in the Alliance of Sahel States. These factors include fiscal discipline, sound monetary policies, and effective economic governance. Experts stress the importance of a well-regulated and transparent economic environment, as these elements can foster trust in the currency and attract foreign investment. Additionally, maintaining low inflation rates and ensuring financial stability are key considerations for the success of the common currency. The Alliance of Sahel States recognizes the importance of leveraging its economic strengths to ensure the success of the common currency. Member states actively develop and implement sound economic policies, including fiscal measures and monetary strategies. Collaborative efforts are underway to enhance economic governance, promote transparency, and create a conducive environment for economic growth. By leveraging their collective economic strengths and implementing prudent policies, the Alliance aims to establish a solid economic foundation, supporting the common currency's success and sustainability. And how could the introduction of a common currency impact the citizens of Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger? The introduction of a common currency holds the potential to positively impact the cost of living for citizens in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger. With a unified currency, the need for currency exchange when engaging in cross-border transactions within the alliance diminishes. This reduction in exchange-related costs could lead to a more stable and predictable economic environment potentially decreasing citizens' overall cost of living. Streamlining financial transactions under a common currency may enhance purchasing power and reduce the financial burden on individuals and households. A common currency is poised to stimulate increased regional trade among the member states of Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger. Eliminating currency exchange costs and uncertainties facilitates a more seamless flow of goods and services across borders. This, in turn, encourages businesses and entrepreneurs to engage in cross-border trade without the hindrance of fluctuating exchange rates. The stimulation of regional trade fosters economic growth. It opens up new opportunities for businesses and entrepreneurs, potentially leading to increased job opportunities and a more vibrant regional economy that directly benefits the citizens. The introduction of a common currency could create new job opportunities for citizens in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger. The increased regional trade and economic growth resulting from the unified currency may stimulate business expansion and entrepreneurship. As businesses thrive in a more conducive economic environment, they will likely hire additional staff to meet growing demands. Additionally, the streamlining of cross-border transactions could encourage the emergence of new industries and trade-related activities, contributing to job creation across various sectors. Ultimately, the common currency has the potential to catalyze a positive ripple effect on employment opportunities for the citizens of these member states. Introducing a common currency is expected to streamline cross-border transactions within the Alliance of Sahel States. Citizens engaging in cross-border trade, travel, or financial transactions would no longer face the complexities of dealing with different currencies. This simplification of transactions eliminates the need for currency exchange, reducing associated costs and uncertainties. As a result, citizens would experience more efficient and cost-effective cross-border interactions, fostering a sense of economic integration and ease of doing business across the member states. Beyond its economic impacts, the common currency has the potential to foster a sense of shared identity and unity among citizens in the Alliance of Sahel States. Using a common currency symbolizes a deeper level of regional integration and collaboration. Citizens, as users of the unified currency, may perceive themselves as part of a shared economic community with common goals and interests. This shared identity can contribute to a sense of unity, solidarity, and mutual understanding among the diverse populations of Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, fostering a stronger sense of regional cohesion. Do experts express optimism about the potential success of the common currency? Indeed, experts, including a doctoral candidate in economics and management sciences, have a notable optimism regarding the potential success of the common currency within the Alliance of Sahel States. These experts view the introduction of the common currency 
as a strategic move that holds promising prospects for economic stability and resilience in the region. Do you think the new currency will help Africa become economically independent? Are the days of dependence on other nations finally coming to an end? Let us know in the comment section. Do you think Africa is making the right choices? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. The black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.